Today I've got something that's pretty cool to show you. It is this Conqueror Cornet by CG Con. Now what makes this cornet very interesting is not the fact it's slightly shorter than a normal cornet or slightly taller than a normal cornet, although both of those things are true. It's because of where the lead pipe goes. Lead pipe starts here and instead of going into the third valve like 99.999% of all cornets, it goes into the second valve. And so for a bit of a close up, you can see this here. We've got the airflow going through the lead pipe into the second valve. As you can see there, you've got the second valve tuning slide here. On the reverse side, you've got the airflow going from the uh, second valve here through this tube and into the third valve. And then we've got this bridge that goes from the third valve to the first valve. As you can see, it arranges like that. And then we've got the first valve tuning slide there. And then in the middle here, we've got the main uh, bell section. Now this particular cornet was made around 1909. So it's very nearly, to, uh, very nearly 110 years old. It is a uh, Con Conqueror model as you will see in there um, and it's unfortunately not in playable condition it's missing a valve cap, it's missing a couple of finger buttons here the valves don't really work very well, they've, they've got quite a lot of damage and corrosion on them so um, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to give you a demo of what this instrument sounds like um, so it's just more of a show and tell thing. At this stage, I'm hoping one day to be able to afford to restore this. Um, and at that point, I'll give you uh, a real overview of what this instrument sounds like. But I just wanted to show you this thing. It cost me $25 from eBay. And it is the most unusual cornet I have ever seen in my life. Thanks for watching.